Hi everyone, it's Nora and today I'll be teaching you how to make an origami jumping frog. Basically when you push down on its back, it'll jump up and down and leap across your desk. The first thing we're going to do is make a square base. So turn the paper so that the white side is facing up and then fold it in half. Then we're going to unfold, turn it sideways, and fold it in half the other way. And unfold again. I just outlined my paper in black sharpie because for some reason my lighting was blending it in with the desk, so it's just to make it show clearer. Anyway, after that you want to turn it over and then fold along the diagonals. Unfold and fold in the other direction. And then unfold. Now we're going to form the actual square base. When you turn it over, the paper will be sticking up, almost like a pyramid. What you want to do is just push down in the middle and it'll flatten out. Turn it over so the color side is facing up and then fold along the horizontal lines and you want to just fold in. And now you have a square base. Now we are going to create a series of squash folds. What you want to do is just lift up, lift up a flap and then push it down so the center line aligns with the paper. Turn over to the back and do the same thing. Then you want to flip this over like a page in a book and do it again. Same thing for the back. It should look something like an ice cream cone. Next we're going to fold all these edges to the center line. So just take the right edge and align it to the center. And do the same on the left. Turn over to the back and repeat. You also want to do it to the pieces that are in between the ones we just folded. So again, we turn it over like a page in a book again, and then we fold it over. Turn to the back, flip it over two pages, and then line it up to the center again. Be sure you have an even amount of paper on each side. After doing this, we are going to unfold all the edges we just folded over. So go through and unfold them. Make sure you have an even amount of paper on each side, which I don't, so I'm just gonna move them over. And now it's even. Next we are going to petal fold. So just pull this up and then line these edges along to the center. Make sure they line up all the way through. One done, turn to the back and do the same. Flip the pages over and repeat.
and again to the last edge. Now even out the paper from side to side. Now we have two different types of sides. Some are completely flat, and other ones when you turn them over have a flap sticking up. You're going to go to all of the flat ones, and then fold the right and left edges to the center. Turn it back. Now flip over to all the other flat ones. They should look like that. Now we will turn over one edge on each, on each side. Just like that. Turn it over and do the same. Now we've got two halves here, like walking legs. And make sure it's even on each side. So if it's uneven, just move the back one two over. Next, we will create the legs. So just fold them diagonally up at the top. We will later turn these into inside reverse folds. You can make them wider out, more in, or just like this. Now to inside reverse fold, we're going to open it up and you'll have these two marks right here showing where you just fold it over. Just push them in and fold in half. And now the leg is inside. We will do the same to the other side. And you have the two front legs done. For the back legs, you want to fold them directly sideways, just like this. And we'll also inside reverse fold these. So again, to inside reverse fold, just open it up in half and then fold along the two diagonal lines and just push them in. Same with the other side. Unfold, fold along the diagonals, and push them in. Right now our frog looks sort of like a stick figure compared to the one on the right. What we're going to do is create the knees and the arms. So we're just going to bend them. For the front legs, Gonna fold them over and then inside reverse fold. Just open it up.
like that. For the hands, I just bend them over like this and then squash them. For the back legs, just fold them back at whatever angle you'd like. And then inside reverse fold. This leg got a little messed up, but then again, you just fold up the feet and squash them down. Or you could inside reverse fold them if you want them to look a little bit better. Then you'll fold the top edge of this frog over so his head doesn't look too pointy. And you finished your frog. If you wanted your frog to jump better, then you could actually inflate it through the hole back here. I inflated this one a little bit, but it kind of lost the air. But it bounces better than the flatter ones. Thank you so much for watching, and be sure to like and subscribe for more. Bye!